Question 61. Which of the following problems are known to be solvable in running time O of n cubed? Uh, 1. Find the shortest path from a given start vertex to a given end vertex in a directed graph on n vertices with non-negative integer weights. 2. Find the longest simple path and three, find the longest path. Now, <clears throat> this is this is a the only trick part of this question is knowing the difference between the longest simple path and the longest path. The shortest path is uh, if you've studied computer science, you must have come across this Dijkstra's algorithm. Dijkstra, how do you spell Dijkstra anyway? D I J K. There's many many different algorithms that that can find the shortest path, but this. This is an O of V squared proposition where V is the number of vertices in the, in the graph. And it requires that it be non-negative cycles in that graph. Otherwise, of course, it gives you a little bit of a problem. But uh, this thing says there's non-negative in integer weights, so that's not an issue. So this one we know has got to be true. It's solved well within O of N cubed. The longest, well, let's go to the longest path. The longest path and the shortest path are basically the same problem. There's no difference between these two problems. So um, whether you find the longest or the shortest, you're, you're still going to do the same O of B squared. The trick is in the longest simple path. What is the longest simple path? The longest simple path means no repeated vertices. In other words, you go through the entire graph, but you only touch each vertex once. That is not a polynomial time problem. It's the famous traveling salesman problem. And there's no uh, solution in polynomial time that, that's, that we know of. Not n to the anything. Uh, it's an exponential situation, so that's the answer to that. So the answer to 61 is C which is 1 and 3.